Howdy everyone, welcome back to TWAB BD, where I break down this week at Bungie as fast as humanly possible. Let's go. Starting off with weapon tuning. Starting into Season 15, Legendary Stasis weapons will be thrown into the mix. Bungie knows that they have absolutely overcrowded the energy slot of weapons the past couple seasons, so we're only going to be getting Stasis weapons in the Power slot and the Kinetic slot. They're not going to be doing so much differently compared to their Kinetic counterparts, but these things are going to have a general kill trigger to use the Stasis effect. Moving on, Bungie fixes the quick swap glitch, meaning that if, if you are a double slug anarchy, connoisseur, and any high-end content, you're still going to be able to do what you do best, but you're going to be slightly slower at it. Moving on to primary weapon changes, all primary ammo weapons will now have infinite ammo. And because of this change, they're going to also going to be changing around some perks, such as drop mag and compact arrow shaft, to being strictly reload perks and handling perks. And they're going to be doing this change with many other perks. And in additional news, Bungie wants to go ahead and do a slight little rework on, on the reissued weapons. So, Bungie is going to add one or two of the original perks to each column for the Luna weapons, and they're going to add one of the original perks to both columns of the Dreaming City weapons. Bungie also has plans to make these weapons a bit more farmable in the future. Moving on to archetypes, breech-loaded grenade launchers have been, quote, an increasing pain point in PvP. To go ahead and counteract this, they're going to go ahead and do a slight little tweak to their blast radius and splash damage, but also not really hurting them in PvE. So they're going to reduce the blast radius by 0.4 meters, reduce splash damage by 20, but increase damage in PvE by 12%, where the horde is unaffected. Machine guns are also going to get a pretty nice buff, getting a nice 20% damage increase in PvE. Xenophage will get a similar buff, but not exactly 20%. Scout Rifles and Hand Cannons are also getting a 50% increase in damage versus minor enemies. Moving on to Fusion Rifles, Bungie does a blanket increase in damage to all subfamilies by 15%, strictly in PvE. Before, High Impacts were 0%, Precisions and Adaptives were 10 and Rapid Fire was 12.5. Breaking down specific archetypes, High Impact Fusion Rifles are going to charge just a little bit slower. Their base charge time has been increased from 0.86 seconds to one full second and shots per burst have been reduced from seven to five and they reduce the total damage per burst precision and adaptive frames are unchanged base charge time is not touched shots per burst is unchanged very slight increase in total damage per burst due to the blanket increase in damage rapid fires charge a little bit faster base charge time has been decreased from 0.54 seconds to 0.46 shots per burst increase from 7 to 9 and increase the total damage per burst Bungie changes a few perks for fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. Backup plan has been changed. It removed a plus 100 to charge time and adjusts the charge time multiplier from 0.85 to 0.7 and now scales damage by 0.8. Liquid coils and accelerate coils both have been converted to charge time and damage instead of just modifying the charge time stat. Bungie also makes changes to the depth charge time mod. They say it felt pointless. Its functionality has been changed to scale charge time directly instead of changing the charge time stat without adjusting the damage. Moving on to exotics. Anarchy has finally gotten this nerf, but is it as bad as you think it is? Not really. Total reserve and magazine ammunition has been reduced from 26 to 16, and it does reduce damage by 30% to bosses. Champions, you'll still do normal damage. Xenophage. Its rate of fire has been reduced from 120 to 90, and again, like I said earlier, it's still going to get a somewhat similar buff since it's a LMG, but it won't get the exact same buff. Moving on, Fighting Lion. Fighting Lion reserves have now been changed to infinite ammo just like pr other primary weapons. It will still receive the same changes as other breach loaded grenade, la grenade launchers. It has a reduced base reload stat to zero. This means this thing will reload very, very slowly. But now when you damage multiple enemies at once with one grenade, it will increase the reload speed. Bungie will keep an eye on this and if anything needs to be changed in the future, they'll make the changes. Vex Mythoclast. PvE damage has been increased by 40%. Range stat has been increased to quote, near best in class for high impact auto rifles. Increased stability stat. Rework catalyst to grant stability and damage after a kill. Increased rate of fire from 360 to 390. And reduced linear fusion rifle mode charge time by 820 to 533. And it will no longer lose its overcharge stacks on stow except for when you have it in the linear fusion rifle mode. Merciless. Merciless has also been hit with the fusion rifle changes, but to make up for this, they're going to go ahead and change how its intrinsic perk works, saying they should build up charge rate at the same amount per burst as before, but now it has reduced the damage penalty for increasing the charge time by 40%. Jotun. Reduced charge time 
by 0.82 seconds to 0.78 seconds. Slightly reduced damage per shot. Bastion. Reduced damage by 50%. Increased spread angle by 10%. Increased PvE damage by 25%. Sweet business. Its perk on refilling the magazine on primary ammo pickup has been changed to make up for the primary infinite ammo. Now we refill the magazine on special and heavy ammo instead of primary. Moving on to additional perk changes. Firing line. Reduced damage bonus to 20% precision damage for all supported weapon archetypes. This will roll on some sniper rifles, linear fusion rifles, and machine guns, and quote, maybe some other stuff in the future. Certain damage perks only affected impact damage on explosive weapons. Bungie wants to go ahead and change this. Damage dealing perks also increases the detonation damage. Visual FX changes. Grenade launchers and rocket launchers will have new visual effects, and legendary fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles will now have a distinct damage type charge visual effect. Moving on to new weapons being added to the game. Next season's ritual weapon is going to be a rocket launcher that has explosive light. In addition, End of activity weapons have also been added. We'll have a scout rifle for Gambit, auto rifle for Crucible, and a sidearm for Vanguard Strikes. The Trials of the Nine weapons will also be added to the Prophecy Dungeon with random rolls, with specific ones dropping from specific encounters. And to finish off, we have reissued World Loot Pool weapons. And with that, we're all done with this week at Bungie. Hope you all enjoyed this short little video. I enjoy making them for you. And if you enjoy what I do and want me to keep doing it, please subscribe to the channel. It always inspires me to make more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and have a good one. Bye.